The quickest way to calculate the false negative rate is to subtract 1 by the sensitivity of the test. However, if you do not know the sensitivity, then you can calculate the false negative rate by dividing the number of false negatives by the total number of people with the condition. To help us understand this equation, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a condition. These white squares represent individuals without it, and the red squares represent individuals with it. Since the false negative rate only takes into consideration people with the condition, we are going to focus on the red squares. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the test returns negative, and to the right, it returns positive. Now let's take a moment to look at the sample table in the top right corner. When calculating the false negative rate, we only need to use the column on the left. This column is used for people who have the condition. In the top row, we have the true positives. In the middle row, the false negatives. And in the bottom row, the total number of people with the condition. After counting the red squares, we find that there are 33 true positives, 7 false negatives, and 40 people in total with the condition. Now all we have to do is key the information into the equation. Doing so, we find that the false negative rate is 7 over 40, which is 18%.